And welcome to a new, sleek, shiny, and on-location edition of Ben's Junk. And uh, hey, at least the junk looks a little nicer than usual. But anyway, as I mentioned towards the end of the most recent regular archive episode, when I was reinstalling my old, <laughs> very old, surround sound system, I was a tad less than enthusiastic about having to run wires to the back of the room again. So I figured that, well, wireless systems are apparently a thing now, and uh, so I went looking around at a new system, and I saw the price tags, and uh, worst of all, saw that they're actually nowhere near as wireless as they claim. But anyway, I went down to Best Buy, and I was just kind of looking for some sort of solution. And there I found the Rocketfish Wireless Rear Speaker Kit, which uh, still has plenty of wires to deal with. But uh, let me turn the box over here. And uh, it looks kind of like a VCR Rabbit sort of deal for speaker systems, and uh, I really need to revisit that thing. But anyway, if the box is anything to go by here, the idea is to hook a transmitter to the existing rear speaker ports on your AV receiver, and then you've got a separate receiver box that you hook your existing rear speakers into. And to correct an already heavily acknowledged mistake in the last Archive episode, I said that this was Wi-Fi dependent. It is not. And, uh, having said that, if that's the case, and this really is more like the VCR Rabbit, I do worry about interference from the Wi-Fi, but, uh, we'll find out. Hopefully it's modern enough and they've, uh, factored all that in, so, yeah, we'll find out. So, let's do that montage thing. Alright, so I've got everything hooked up. According to the manual, the transmitter and receivers are communicating with each other. And I've got the first thing I could find with the channel test on it all queued up. Grabbed my trusty old Video Essentials laser disc. And so if I swing around here, there's the laser disc and the AC3. And yeah, it's all ready to go. So. I've got the volume on the Rocketfish set at about two-thirds, and I've got the volume cranked pretty good here, so let's do the channel test and see how it goes. Hey, success! Let's try the other speaker. And there it goes. Lovely. All right. So, let me pause this. So, now the big test is going to be with a regular surround sound movie. How's that going to react? So, let's take a cut here and find out. Alright, I grabbed one of the two 4K movies that I bought recently, uh, just more because it was handy than anything else, and I know it has surround sound. And I've got it all nice and queued up here. And, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna reach down to the back and crank the crap out of the speakers. 
And we'll see what we get. Let's see if it hisses or crackles at me or anything. So, uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. hiss too I've noticed but I mean I've really had to crank it so honestly it's not too bad yeah so I mean I really have to try to make it hiss or crackle or anything I mean this is well beyond what I would ever normally listen at so I'm gonna call this a success uh, yeah, don't see too many of those around here so yeah I'm gonna leave it at that I'm sure I'll have to play with this for a while and I've also got new speakers on the way but really that's it for today I'll talk to you again soon